Throughout our journey of exploring science and the history of our universe, the Big Bang has stood as the primary explanation for it all. Countless studies involving thousands of scientists have contributed to this research. The data has consistently supported the Big Bang as the leading theory explaining the creation of the universe. In this theory, dark energy plays a crucial role, acting as an expansive force driving the universe's growth. However, as science progresses and new technologies emerge, leading to the emergence of fresh theories, it's not uncommon for long-held beliefs to be challenged and revised. Recently, Michio Kaku and others have brought attention to a significant development, the debunking of the Big Bang Theory. The James Webb Telescope's discovery of 750 new galaxies has sparked a re-evaluation of our understanding of cosmic origins. These newly detected galaxies defy expectations, revealing a universe far more diverse and complex than previously thought. The images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope depict galaxies that deviate from conventional predictions. They are smaller, smoother, and older than anticipated, prompting a sense of urgency among scientists. These unexpected characteristics challenge the fundamental principles of the Big Bang hypothesis. Traditionally, the Big Bang theory posits that the universe originated from a singular explosive event approximately 14 billion years ago. However, the observed galaxies present a different narrative. They appear too small and too smooth, contradicting the anticipated behavior of objects in an expanding universe. Furthermore, the age and abundance of these galaxies defy conventional understanding. Their existence challenges the expected timeline of galaxy formation within the framework of the Big Bang Theory. In light of these discoveries, scientists are re-examining our fundamental understanding of the universe's origins. The James Webb Telescope's findings have opened new avenues for exploration and raised profound questions about the nature of cosmic evolution. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed a vast number of galaxies, prompting questions about the accuracy of predictions made by the Big Bang Theory. According to this theory, at the beginning of the universe, all matter, energy, and cosmic building blocks were compressed into an infinitesimally tiny, highly dense point called a singularity. Within this singularity, the laws of physics, particularly those described by Einstein's general relativity equations, suggest that an unimaginable amount of mass and energy existed in an extreme compressed state, resulting in inconceivable temperatures. This intense energy within the singularity acted as the seed from which the entire universe expanded. Following the singularity's initial burst, the universe embarked on a journey of expansion and inflation over approximately 13.7 billion years. Cosmic inflation, an extraordinary period of rapid expansion, smoothed out irregularities and homogenized the distribution of matter and energy. This expansion set the stage for the formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. Despite the end of cosmic inflation, the universe's expansion continued at a measurable rate, observed through phenomena like the redshift of light from distant galaxies. As the universe expanded and cooled, fundamental transformations occurred, leading to the synthesis of lightweight elements like hydrogen and helium during a process called nuclear synthesis. These elemental building blocks laid the foundation for the formation of stars, galaxies, and more complex elements in the cosmos. While the Big Bang theory is supported by compelling evidence, it's essential to note that it might not capture the entirety of cosmic reality. One key piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory is the cosmic microwave background, CMB, a faint radiation filling the universe representing the afterglow of the Big Bang. Discovered in 1965, the characteristics of the CMB closely align with predictions made by the Big Bang theory, providing strong confirmation of its validity. The observed pattern of cosmic microwave background radiation, with its uniform and temperature distribution, provides compelling evidence for the Big Bang theory. This radiation serves as a direct echo of the universe's early stages, reflecting its hot and dense state before expansion. The CMB's discovery and analysis have solidified the Big Bang theory's standing as the most plausible explanation for cosmic origins. Moreover, various lines of evidence further support the Big Bang theory. Observations of the redshift of light from distant galaxies confirm the universe's expanding nature. The movement of galaxies away from each other in all directions aligns with the theory's predictions. Additionally, the abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium throughout the cosmos is consistent with Big Bang predictions. 
Astronomical surveys have also revealed the large-scale distribution of galaxies, showcasing clustering patterns that match theoretical expectations. Galaxies tend to cluster in groups, clusters, and superclusters, forming intricate networks across the universe. This observed structure supports the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory. Gravity's role in shaping the distribution of matter and the formation of galaxies further aligns with Big Bang predictions. Galaxy clusters and the cosmic web-like structure of the universe provide strong evidence for the theory's validity. However, recent observations by the James Webb Space Telescope challenge some aspects of the Big Bang theory. Contrary to expectations, the galaxies observed appear smooth and well-organized rather than chaotic and disheveled from multiple collisions and merges as predicted by the theory. This unexpected observation raises doubts about the commonality of galaxy mergers in the evolution of galaxies. If galaxies aren't undergoing significant merges, it becomes difficult to explain how tiny galaxies could grow into larger ones as proposed by the Big Bang theory. Additionally, the optical illusion predicted by the expanding universe hypothesis, where objects appear smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, does not seem to align with the observations. In essence, while the Big Bang theory has garnered substantial evidence supporting its validity, new observations challenge some of its fundamental assumptions. Further research and analysis will be crucial in reconciling these discrepancies and refining our understanding of cosmic evolution. The recent revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope have prompted significant reconsideration of the validity of the Big Bang theory. Equipped with advanced infrared filters, the JWST has provided astronomers with unprecedented opportunities to study distant galaxies and glean insights into their ages. One crucial aspect under scrutiny is the color composition of these galaxies. The color of a galaxy can be indicative of the ages of the stars within it. Typically, young hot stars emit blue light, while older cooler stars emit yellow or red light. This correlation allows astronomers to estimate the age of a galaxy based on its color profile. According to the Big Bang Theory, the galaxies observed by the JWST at extreme distances should represent the universe's state approximately 400 to 500 million years after its inception. However, the problem arises when some of these distant galaxies exhibit stellar populations that are remarkably older, surpassing the billion-year mark. This discrepancy challenges the fundamental premise of the Big Bang theory, which posits that nothing should have existed before the Big Bang itself. Moreover, the abundance and characteristics of galaxies observed by the JWST paint a picture that diverges from the predictions of the Big Bang theory. The sheer number of large galaxies detected within a relatively short time frame after the hypothetical Big Bang suggests that the universe's evolution may not align neatly with the theory's expectations. Additionally, the Big Bang theory is burdened with a plethora of incorrect predictions. Discrepancies in the abundance of elemental isotopes like deuterium, helium, and lithium cast doubt on the theory's explanatory power. Furthermore, it fails to account for observed phenomena such as the absence of anticipated illusions in the universe's structure and recognized asymmetries in the cosmic microwave background. Despite these substantial inconsistencies, the collapse of the Big Bang hypothesis has not received the widespread attention it arguably warrants. This lack of acknowledgement may be attributed to the Emperor's new clothes effect, where questioning entrenched theories is met with skepticism and resistance. In such an environment, researchers who challenge the status quo may encounter difficulties in securing funding for their investigations. This dynamic underscores the intricate interplay between scientific inquiry, institutional support, and the persistence of prevailing paradigms. While the recent findings from the JWST present formidable challenges to the Big Bang theory, the scientific community's response and the trajectory of cosmological research in the aftermath remain areas of keen interest and debate. The challenges presented by the prevailing scientific framework, particularly in cosmology, extend beyond hindering progress in individual research endeavors. They also obstruct efforts to address inherent flaws within the existing paradigm. In many cases, researchers find themselves navigating a system that stifles dissent and discourages critical inquiry, even if their work does not directly challenge the Big Bang theory. Historically, researchers who could finance their own cosmology research as a secondary pursuit had the opportunity to publish papers that diverge from mainstream theories. However, even these efforts face dismissal and disregard from the established cosmological community. 
As the crisis within cosmology became apparent, particularly in 2019, the cosmological establishment intensified efforts to protect the faltering Big Bang theory through censorship. Today, it has become exceedingly challenging to publish papers critical of the Big Bang theory in astronomical journals. This censorship further exacerbates the difficulty for alternative theories to gain traction and be rigorously evaluated within the scientific community. As a result, the pursuit of scientific progress and the exploration of alternative explanations for cosmic origins are impeded. Despite these obstacles, there exist alternative theories that offer different perspectives on the nature and origin of the universe. One such theory is the steady-state theory, which posits that the universe is in a perpetual and unchanging state, existing indefinitely without a singular beginning. Continuous creation, a key aspect of the steady-state theory, suggests that new matter is continually generated to maintain a consistent density of matter in the universe, thereby explaining its observed expansion without the need for a Big Bang event. Another concept, eternal inflation, proposes that our universe is just one component within a larger multiverse consisting of numerous bubble universes with distinct physical laws and properties. This theory suggests that inflation, the rapid expansion of the universe, is an ongoing process occurring within specific regions of the multiverse, leading to the creation of new bubble universes. Additionally, the cyclic universe model suggests a pattern in which the universe undergoes repetitive cycles, each beginning with a big bang and ending with a big crunch. These alternative theories offer different explanations for cosmic origins and challenge the assumptions underlying the big bang theory. In conclusion, the challenges within the cosmological community highlight the need for open and rigorous scientific inquiry free from censorship and institutional biases. Exploring alternative theories and addressing the flaws within the existing scientific framework are essential for advancing our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution. The concept of a dramatic collapse leading to a phase known as the Big Crunch offers an intriguing alternative to the prevailing theories of cosmic evolution. In this model, the universe undergoes a cycle of expansion and contraction, with each cycle culminating in a highly dense and hot state before initiating a new phase of expansion with another Big Bang. During the expansion phase following the initial Big Bang, galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures form as the universe gradually becomes larger and less dense. However, gravity eventually exerts its influence, causing the expansion to slow down and reverse direction. This reversal leads to the Big Crunch, during which the universe contracts, becoming increasingly compressed and denser until all matter and energy are concentrated into a singularity of infinite density and temperature. Following the Big Crunch, a new cycle begins with another Big Bang, perpetuating an eternal cycle of expansion, contraction, and rebirth. Each cycle is believed to adhere to similar physical laws and properties, allowing for the repetition of cosmic evolution and the emergence of galaxies, stars, and other structures. This cyclical model offers a potential explanation for the existence of the new galaxies detected by recent observations. It posits that these galaxies may have been part of a new cycle that coincided with our observation, suggesting a continuous and eternal process of cosmic evolution. The implications of this model for our understanding of the universe are profound. Could this concept provide the definitive proof needed to challenge the Big Bang theory and reshape our understanding of cosmic origins? The debate continues, and we invite you to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, please consider giving it a thumb up, and as always, stay tuned for